Hey, it's Tom here from Project SPS, and in this episode we'll be going through building a flower bed um, protection netting thing. This is quite a big one we're going to be building today, this is 3 metres by 1.5 metres. The principle is the same, whichever size garden bed you've got, um, is to protect it from wildlife, cats, birds and children who are interested in pulling all your plants up. So in this video we'll go through step by step on how to get this built, protect your veg. Okay, so to build a cage you will need an electric saw, timbers, um, they've been pre-measured and they were... Uh, 3.6 meters but we went for it in the van so I had to chop some off making sure I had enough to work with when I got back. You'll also need some chicken wire that's about a 50 meter roll by one meter wide and um, we're going to utilize that on a chicken run. So you need a saw, you need a square, you need a pencil, of course tape measure. You can use a um, hand saw if you like, a drill with various bits. We've got a big box there of, uh, of different screws. We're going to use a staple gun and we're just using some 14 mil staples for this. We've got a nice selection of different things and your drill bits. Okay, so as this is my first video, of course I forgot to press record on the camera when I was actually measuring everything up. We missed out the whole measuring up part. I'm not going to teach anyone to suck eggs, you can measure a piece of wood. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw some holes in the ends of wood. So what we don't want to do is start splitting wood and messing about because then we're going to have to treat it and protect it um, so it doesn't rot through. So I'm going to use a, um, a countersink bit. That'll give us a nice, a nice start for the screw to go in and, uh, and a, good, a good grasp of keeping it together. So we're going to be using a mess, we're going to use an earth. 8mm countersink bit just to get a nice hole in the end of these wood. Of course the long end is going to be going into the short end, so, so that's one of the short ends. It's going to be going just like that. That's all it does, I've got the um, countersinks in the end, we'll just use this as a guide to kind of find the centre. Accurate. Okay, so that's kind of six on that end at those ends. The fit sides. We've got these lamps here. All we want to do. Make sure it's nice and square and supported. Let's use this some screws, my nice big box of screws. So this wood is 50 mil thick, um, so I didn't even want to take about 75 mil. Um, I've got some 75 mil screws. Uh, the wood screws are not outdoor screws, so not ideal for this, but I want to use that. Put this stuff in the case before I start buying any new stuff. So that's one. I'm uh, just going to double rest and then we'll have a, um, an assembled frame. Okay, so now we've done one part of the frame. Now I'm going to lay the others on top of this, use the same, same area, get those on, and then we can get the uprights in. Now what I need to do is just go around and drill all the pilot holes and or canceling holes for these supports because it's going to be too big once it's built to actually carry over into the garden. What I'm going to do is just drill the holes here, get it all set up and ready and I'm going to build it in the garden. I'm going to be using 60 centimetre uprights. We're going to have one on each of the corners and one in the centre um, and then we're going to put the netting all around it so it'll be yeah, nice, and, uh, nice and high, nice and big for, for all the veg to go in between. So I'm just going to go around, cancel the holes. Uh, I started doing them, so I'll just go over them once more just to clean them up to make sure we're okay. And then we'll, we'll, I'll take it over and um, I'll join you in the garden. So this is a garden the flower bed that we want to protect because at the moment we're having a lot of cats come in and use the fresh soil and compost as, as a litter tray. What we want to do is protect this from it. We've tried fleece and things like that. The trouble is around here, we're, we're in the bottom of the valley, so we do get quite a wind um, coming along. It does take it up a bit. We have a nice, quite high cage to protect the bed. You'll notice this is laid out in, in squares. Each square is a square foot. And it's called square foot gardening. It's very new 
to me, um, but the, the test that I've done down there seems to be working quite well. I will go a lot more into scrap for gardening just to show you what it's all about and what you can do and, and kind of yields you can get from it. None of the yields have surprised me. Well, we'll get the cage built up, put on, and then you know, I'll dedicate some videos especially to scrap for gardening, the benefits and, and how you can do it you know, in, in plant pots and things like that as well. I'll bring over the frame, get it all put together, get the chicken wire on it, get it all set up and on here so you can see, see the cage fully built. So now we've got all the components in the garden, the final resting place is going to be on the, garden, on the vegetable bed. So what I'm going to do is go around, I've actually found some old decking screws which are actually coated, they're 10 centimetres longer so I'll spread a lot longer, they give a much better fix. So I can use them for the upright, so I might even change the corner ones for them because they'll be a lot, um, they'll last a lot longer. So what I'm going to go around and do is put the uprights in each four corners and at the sides I'm going to be left with a nice, um, a nice box. So I'll get on with that. Right, so I think now what I'm going to do is actually flip the whole thing over, drag it back, pop the, top, pop the loose top on, and then drill in from above rather than doing it on the sides. It's a bit more accurate when you do it from above. So now we've got this on top, what we're going to do is that we're going to Drill in six holes. We didn't need to make it that accurate, we didn't need to measure the angle to make sure we're all, all square around. Get the other, other six uh, screws in and then we'll be left with a, a solid box. And now we've got the box all done, all the frames done. This might get my wife to help me pop it on the bed uh, just to make sure it's the right size. The last thing I want to be doing is starting to put, you know, put an extra support on the bed to support the frame. You know, I just want it to be nice and simple and support itself. I'll go and grab a wife get her out here. She can give me a hand um, popping it on. So now we've got it all up together, what we need in the middle is a supporting brace which I forgot to put in because of course if you put the, the netting over it will dip in the middle and Time if anything goes on it, it will you know, cave in. So what we need to do is just put a base, just a piece of um, three by two or three by one that I found, cut it to length, and then just pop it across to support it. So again, I'm just going to use the um, the ten centimeter wood outdoor screws. These are give kind of the best the best hold. So just going to pop these in. So that's the support in, that will now stop any, any sagging on the top. Of course the extra supports can be added if in future this does start sagging. This is a very big bed, I mean it's three metres by one and a half metres. Ideally you'd have like a maybe four foot square bed, so you could make this out of like 50 by 25 roof patterns, or maybe slightly smaller. The system you make needs to just be modified over time to suit what is best for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out a way to get the mesh on, the chicken wire on as, as economically as possible without wasting too much. I don't want to waste uh, you know, any, so I don't really want any overlaps. It's a metre wide, unfortunately I couldn't get any wider than that. It's 50 metres long so it's going to last our, hopefully, our chicken run build as well. So the, the chicken wire I'm using is 31 millimetre um, by just over a metre wide. It's, um, it's going to be used on our chicken chicken coop as well. So I've just got to figure out now, like I said, the best way to, to actually set this up on here to, to be as economic as possible, whether it's time, you know, to the to squares, whether I manage to get it over, we'll um, find out. By the way, I found that just using normal um, normal wire snips, it, 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 it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this around the side, loop it over the top, and then kind of cut it so that it fits nicely around and kind of work around that way. What I'm using is um, an arrow staple gun and some quite deep 14mm uh, staples. That will get them, you know, that's, they're not going to move. You can use a normal staple or just some kind of tacks or something. That will work equally as well. It's just it's so much, so much easier to, um, to quickly just pop along and do it.
Okay, so let's take a look whilst what I'm going to do is turn the video off, get on breast fit, and you come back to see a finished product. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've got managed to get a bed finished now. I'm actually sitting on the bed. You'll see there are some little bits here that just need some kind of tying together. I'll probably use a little bit of bit of metal wire, a bit of metal fencing wire, so just to pull them together a bit. All along there, just where the join is. I could have used some wood, some more timber along there, but as it's not there to look pretty, it's there to do a job. Just a bit of fencing wire will we'll fix that. Um, at the sides, which you just done a whole length, I flipped it around because this is the side of our garden that the daughters play on. Now this is the end, so that is a little bit joining up as well. And then down the messy side of the garden, we've got it here. So I've got to just um, tack a few a few things in here just to get it um, all sorted out. But as far as a couple of hours just to build this, yeah, it does, it does a job perfect to what we want. 